In the last video, we created this Excel with the sheets being all the data types, users, orders, items, and the field names here, username, date of birth, address. So Bubble works in a similar way, except you have something called field type. So the username uh, is a type text. Date of birth would be a type date. The address uh, would usually be a type uh, geographic address or location. And now here, a list of items would actually in bubble be called a list of items. Or we also had the current order of the user. This would be type order. What I mean with this is let's go over to bubble, to the back end over here to data. And we can see we've got all the data types here, such as user. And for example, uh, here I've created the username as a number. Uh, this was an earlier example. You could, of course, have a username text here. And you could have a current order, which is a type order. So when I create this, I first need to create my type order over here or item over here. And once I've created that, when I click create a new field, I can actually select order down here. And then to get a list of orders or each order we had earlier has a list of items, what we do here is we just call it list of items and we select items and we would select list here by checking the box and clicking create. And then each order would have a list of items. So you can create as many fields as you like. So here I've also created a new field merchant and each order has a merchant. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually create data using workflows on Bubble. So again, this can be seen uh, as a step-by-step -step list on uh, tiplister.com, link below, where there are lots of free Bubble tips available.